Hello fellow YouTubers, this is Little Experience, where we experience otaku culture abroad, i.e. in Canada. Today, I got a package in the mail. Now, the downside of this is that it's supposed to be like a two kind of in one video. Um, only one thing has arrived. But do you think I have the patience to wait for the second one? If you do, you are very wrong. So, I'm gonna open up the package that has arrived, uh, and then I'll just, you know, merge the clips once the second half of this arrives. What is this package, though, you may ask? Well, let me tell you. It is from the website Sugoi Mart. Uh, if you look back on my channel, you'll actually see that I did an unboxing of something from there, what, three years ago now? It was of their survival kit, and I might have been just a general lucky bag box thing, honestly. Uh, and my review of that was a little underwhelming. Was it worth the cost? Eh, not really. So why would I do this again? Well, I like lucky bags and the fun of them. So we're going to see if in 2023, Sugoi Mart has upped their game. So which lucky bags did I purchase? Uh, a couple, but the ones that will be featured in today's video are going to be the Pokemon lucky bag, which is the one I have here today, I think, and also the Kirby lucky bag, which is on its way and should hopefully arrive in a couple days, which will make no difference to you. It'll be in the same video. But without further ado, uh, you don't want to hear me talk, you want to hear me unbox, so let's get to it. So, I'm gonna be honest, I was expecting, oh good, that side is blank, I was expecting a bigger box, I'm not saying this isn't big, um, but the one I got last time had, was much bigger, having said that, it did also have two in it, uh, so I'm not sure, anyways. I'm just gonna keep unboxing because I see what I was expecting and it is indeed Pokemon. There's actually something else in this box, but that's for our second video. So we're gonna, I'm gonna put this down so you don't see that. All right, let's dive in to the Pokemon Lucky Bag. First of all, it's yellow and it's very well branded, let me say. So you Mark, Pokemon Lucky Bag. It's a little small. This one I think is $75 US. I don't think it's Canadian, I think it's US. Um, we're gonna find out if I think it was worth that much money. The good news is I spent enough that shipping was free, but you do have to spend like $200 for free shipping. Not that that's hard to achieve with the lucky bags, but it, you know, it's quite a lot. And shipping uh, without that is like another hundred bucks. So then, let's just let's just dive in. Okay, do I wanna like look or do I wanna just pull out random? I'm just gonna like pull out random things. So what has my hand grabbed first? Okay, it's worth it. Seventy-five dollars worth it for this one thing. Let me just open it so I'm not, you know, talking over the crinkles. <laughs> it's a sleepy yamper. He's so cute. Look, his tongue is sticking out. He's asleep. Oh, this is literally the cutest thing. Oh, oh, my heart. I, I've been replaying Pokemon Shield. Um, I had played it before, but it was on. It was before I owned my own Switch. So now that I'm playing it on my Switch, it occurred to me, oh shoot, my save data. So I've been replaying it. Um, and I don't have Yamper on my team because he was on the team the first time I played and I'm trying to change it up. But oh my goodness, how cute is this? He's so tiny, he is so soft, He's got a cute little bum and a cute little face and $75, you know what, worth it. Done, I don't need to see the rest. All right, let me put you over here for now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna set him up there so he can watch me do the rest. Okay, let's see, what is next in this bag? Oh, snacks, that, that makes sense. There's a lot of Pokemon branded snacks in Japan, but what are they? They are bite-sized potato snacks. So we've got uh, from four, one, two, three, four, I can count. Are they all the same or are they different flavors? I don't know enough Japanese to confirm one way or the other, but from what I can tell, they are all the same flavor. All right, we don't hate potato snacks. My partner really likes savory snacks, so he will probably enjoy these. All right, snacks, great. Is that worth $75? No, but yamper, yamper is. All right, next. Oh, I grabbed two things, spoiler alert. Uh, this is another snack, if I'm not mistaken. Without opening this, 
from my memory and also from the delicacy of this package, I think this is some sort of wafer snack. I would love to open it. Apparently the light's haunted, my bad. Um, I'd love to open it and confirm, but if it is a snack, I'd have to eat it, so. Oh, no, 100%. That's like, that's like some sort of wafer snack. I'm hoping wafer and chocolate. Um, but yeah, it's, they get away with sending this because it's Pokemon branded, but hey, it's like a shiny Rayquaza. That's cool. All right, and the thing I grabbed accidentally is, has Snorlax on it. Oh, I really should have practiced my Japanese. Um, but from my guess, and this one I can open, I'm guessing it's probably like a, a face towel, a little hand towel. Um, one thing I learned when I went to Japan long ago is that their bathrooms don't have paper towel or hand dryers, but that's why, you know, little hand towels are such a popular thing to buy there. It's because people carry their own to dry their hands. I hate leaving the bathroom with dry hands. That was one of the things that annoyed me the most in Japan. But look, oh my gosh, number 143 Snorlax. It's just a little hand towel. I mean, that's useful. Um, that's the other thing too with Lucky Bags is you're risking getting items that have no use to you. Uh, like food is edible. I collect Pokemon plushies, so Yamper's great. And this is just a towel. So, you know, it's a towel. It's useful. Um, so, so far, so good, actually. I'm quite pleased with the items so far. And there's more, so let's keep going. Oh my gosh, it's more snacks. Okay. I was hoping for a little more merch and a fewer snacks. Um, so far, we only got two merchy items. But what? Oh, actually. Oh, this is when reading would really come in handy. I was gonna say maybe it's not a snack, but now it's starting to sound like one. Oh, that's totally an ingredient list, right? Yeah, no, this is a snack. What kind of snack? I do not know. Um, is there any hiragana? Uh, oh, wait, I do know that. Furikake. It's furikake. I know what that is. That's, that's stuff I can actually read. Uh, so for those of you who don't know, uh, furikake is like rice -ni seasoning, essentially. Uh, and it says it right there. Oh, my Hiragata actually gave it, came in here. All right, cool. Pokemon themed Furikake. I'm, I'm down for that. I'm curious. There's different like flavors of Furikake. So I don't know what kind it is, but hopefully it's good. Hey, oh, with the gotcha. All right, let's do this. It's a, it's a taped gotcha. Let's take the tape off first. <laughs> Apparently, I don't know how to open gotcha. Oh, there we go. What have we got here? What, what do we have here? Oh no. Oh, okay. Whew, I was starting to panic thinking it was one of the newer Pokemon I don't know. I have Pokemon Violet. I have not played it yet, so I'm actually really behind on that generation. The good news is, I do know this Pokemon. And, oh, he's so cute. <laughs> oh, that's actually really cute. Um, we, so, so it comes with a little, a little plate. And on top of that plate is, it's a spiel eating like a little ice cream. Oh my God, can I like get this to focus on him instead? Come on camera, I believe in you, come on. And this is why I want a real camera and not my darned phone. Okay, you know what, it's good enough. You can tell it's a spiel eating ice cream and a little parfait. It's just one of those like resiny, plasticky little gacha things. But I think he'll make a nice little addition on my shelf with my other little Pokemon things. <laughs> he's really cute. Oh, he's not eating it. Oh, he's just holding it. Okay, whatever. Maybe he made it. He's an ice type, right? Like water ice? Maybe. All right, all right, all right. Oh, I probably shouldn't look at this. It shows the other ones you can get. You could have gotten a Psyduck, a Piplop, or a Gengar. Oh, the Gengar is kind of cute. But you know, I feel like Sfeel fits. I feel like he fits. That's, that's me not just coping. It's fine. All right. All right, next, 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 next. Okay, this is a thing and not a toy. Sorry, no, this is a toy, not food is what I meant to say. Um, there is a bird on the front, but there's things on the side. So is it a blind box or is this the bird? Because I would literally prefer any other one of those options. Let's find out, shall we? It's, it's the bird, <laughs> it's the bird. Um, the real question now, okay, there's more than one question. Is this gum? <laughs> is this a part of the toy or is this edible? It looks like a piece of gum to me, but I'm gonna just put that aside. Um, shoot. Is this, 
It looks like Braviary, if that's even how you say it. I have my laptop, I should probably Google this. Oh, I am a Pokemon fan, I promise I'm just behind. Are you somebody I should know? Or are you newish? Because I know all the others. There's Arceus, there's Mega Gardevoir, there's Eevee, there's Haxorus, and then there's you. You look like Braviary, but your colors aren't quite right, because I'm pretty sure you were like blue and stuff. So comment down below and uh, accuse me of being fake fan. Which po bird Pokemon is this? Cause I don't remember, but he's cool. I know it's a Pokemon, so he can look cute next to this field for now, uh, set up where you can't see. All right, cool, blind box, except it wasn't blind because it said on the front which one it was. <gasps> we got more practical goodies. It's a bowl. <laughs> Should I be this excited about a bowl? Maybe not. But it says Pikachu, pocket monsters. Uh, I'm guessing it's just plastic. The real question of it is if it is dishwasher safe, but I guess I'll have to find out the hard way. Nope, just a cute little bowl, cute little like rice bowl. Oh, that's cute, I like that. We like we like our practical nerdy goodies. All right, we're, keep, we're keeping going, keep it going. What is this? This feels edible. It definitely looks edible. I don't know if it's gum or candy, but it has Pachirisu on it. So yay, more candy. All right, next we've got, oh, it's a Pokeball. Ooh, this one is also, okay, I think this one's like actually blind. So we're gonna pop this bad boy open and open another gacha and see who we're going to get. Fingers crossed. Which Pokeball is that? I don't recognize that design. Also comment down below if you know which one that is. All right. Oh, hello, sir. Oh, oh come on. it's the gum again. <laughs> Why does the gacha, I, okay. It's the same as last time. So it's gotta be gum and not like part of the bird. Uh, oh look, it's a little Meryl. I know Meryl. Tiny little Meryl. Okay, let's add you up here. I've <laughs> got a miniature collection going. And I'll keep the Pokeball too. It uh, is flat on the bottom, which means it can stand. And I like Pokemon merch. Is that one of the good ones? Ah, Ralts would have been cute, or Fido, or the... Okay, there was a lot of options. Meryl's fine, but he wouldn't, he wouldn't have been my pick, but neither was the bird. And, you know, lucky bag. You know, should have occurred to me. I'm not a very lucky person, but oh well. Hey, couldn't have been a lucky bag without some, I'm guessing, instant noodles. Oh yeah, nope, we got some, we got some Pokemon branded instant noodles. Again, it, it's, it's expected. Um, and honestly, oh, it literally says Pokemon noodle. I just skipped past that. Can't go wrong with instant noodles. And even if you can't read the instructions, they're pretty straightforward usually. So we got some Pokemon instant noodles. What's next? Ooh, what is, hey. <laughs> So I, the moment I grabbed this, I was like, what is that? But it's, um, it's surprisingly cold actually, but it's a, it's a jelly drink. It's grape flavored, which isn't my go-to. I'll see if my partner wants it. But the reason I was amused is because of the Pokemon on it. I think it's the perfect mascot of choice for the purple jelly. Take your guesses. It's ditto. <laughs> I will be honest. If I drank this, I would feel like I was like slurping up a ditto, which isn't, that appealing to be honest um but i've never actually had a jelly drink before if it was any flavor except grape i mean i'll try it but grape flavored things are not generally my favorite i don't know maybe japanese grape is fine because japanese strawberry isn't whereas i like western strawberry so I'll, I'll give it i'll give it a shot we'll give we'll give the jelly a shot but i am amused that they chose ditto as the mascot all right is there anything else oh we got a pencil I mean, can't, can't go wrong with a pencil. It's scarlet and violet. We've got our legendaries and our Pikachu and our starters. I did choose Fui Coco. He was, I wasn't a fan of any of the starters when they were released, but I am a fan of Derp. Oh, oh, that's, that's it. That was, that was an underwhelming final object. All right, so looking at what we got. Is it worth $75? I love the bowl. I love the hand towel and 100% in love with Yamper. So heckin' cute. This alone, I'd pay like 30 bucks for. What, is that reasonable? Maybe not, um, but I would do it. And then, 
Anyway, maybe, maybe not seventy-five dollars. Fifty. I think 50 would be a little more reasonable for this pack. Um, and I do know their lucky bags go on sale quite a bit. So if, you know, if you want to try your luck and potentially get something as cute as this little guy, um, I think, you know, I buy lucky bags for the fun of it. If you want specific items, don't, don't buy a lucky bag. Just go buy the item. But if you want the joy of opening it and testing your luck um, and being so delighted when you pull something as cute as this, it's a fun experience. Um, if you're low on cash, maybe, maybe don't. Push that out of frame. Maybe don't. But Yamper made this 100% worth it for me. And I just hope that you seeing kind of what the Lucky Bag contains gives you an idea of, you know, you want to purchase it or not. I will say, I do love reusable totes. So that's nice instead of like plastic. Uh, I'll give Sugoi Mark credit for that.